Hello, Love for Beauty fam. It is your favorite pro makeup girl and it is art and story day. I have something awesome to show you and it is drum roll, Amal. Yes, yes it is. And it is the cutest moth you could ever see. I actually used to be appalled by moths because of the fuzzy texture of their bodies and their wings. But now I am simply fascinated. Oh, look at this little fella. How cute is he? I am going to create this beautiful pink creature on the right side of my face and on the left, I am going to do a matching makeup. Let's go. Hello beautiful people, this is Nika and you're watching Love for Beauty. Here I want to give you some facts. This moth is called Altamaris franki or Frankie. I could not find pronunciation on this word. So if you know how to pronounce it, drop me a comment or make an article online because nobody knows. Anyways, I like franki better. I don't know why, but I will be calling it that. These moths are characterized by eye-like and leaf-like patches on their wings, which is what I am sort of already doing a little bit. Do you see? Do you see? All right, let's go back to painting. Now, instead of a story, I figured I will give you some differences between moths and butterflies. So moths are nocturnal, like me, which means they're active during the night and butterflies are mostly active during the day. Because of my job, I had to get used to be more active during the day. I get up really early in the morning and I go to sleep fairly early, but most of my life I've been more active at night and I think this is why I'm kind of liking moths now and also look how cute he is like how do you not like that <laughs> another difference between butterflies and moths is that moths rest with their wings open and butterflies rest with their wings closed let's keep going I am kind of excited how Cool, this is starting to look. What do you think?
More differences between moths and butterflies. Moths antenna are more leaf-like or feather-like, while the butterfly antenna are long there with a bulb on top. Moths are stockier with furry bodies, while butterflies are more lean and smooth. But that's only because the size of the scale on the butterflies is way smaller than the one on the moths. Let's keep going! I am really loving how this is turning out. Now, if you are enjoying this video, like it, subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you know when the next video is up. If you think that your friends might like my content, share it with them and invite them to join the Love for Beauty fam. Let's keep going. Very excited. All right, you want to know something interesting. Butterflies and moths have been around for 50 million years and probably first evolved 150 million years ago. They are a highly diverse group comprising over 250,000 species. How incredible is this? Think about all the species of butterflies and moths. Some butterflies and moths mimic the eyes and patterns of their predators and this way they protect themselves. This tactic makes the attacker 
think that they are facing a larger and potentially dangerous animal. So cool. Moths and butterflies are cool. If you're loving face art and story time, let me know in the comments what you would like to see next and I will do my best to make it happen. Now let's finish this piece of art. I have very little left. I'm excited. What do you guys think? Sometimes I feel like we face this predicament in life as well. We have to put on an appearance that is very different from our true heart just to protect ourselves. And that is not cheating, it is flexibility. There are many people that we would meet who wouldn't always act and wish the best towards us, which is why we need to be skillful in multiple ways so we can defend and protect ourselves keep ourselves safe sane and our soul and hearts untouched Now, I want to tell you about the moths and butterflies' ecological benefits. They are amazing pollinators because of their furry bodies. And moths, especially, are really good with white, fragrant flowers because they can find them in the dark. As we said, they are nocturnal, so they're very active during the night. Moths and butterflies are indicators of healthy environment and ecosystems. They are also an important element of the food chain. When it comes to how attractive and beautiful they are, thousands of people travel every year all over the world in search for butterflies and moths. This is amazing. Now, I'm going to do regular makeup with similar color on my left side well as at the very end of the video I messed up I forgot to press record so I already did die I'm about to do the lips I did like very nice shimmery blush shimmer eyeshadow and this cute eyeliner that I got inspired and I just had to do it I had to do it I found the perfect color for the lips I'm about to apply it at least you can see that 
has sparkles. Ah, this is perfect. You caught the mascara application. Here I go. I am in love with this look. Thank you so much for watching beauties i really appreciate you i hope you enjoyed this video and got really educated on moths and butterflies now let me know in the comments how you feel about moths how about butterflies i had such a good time i love creating these looks for you don't forget to come back next thursday and tune in at 5 p.m central and 3 p.m pacific now go create something and look in the mirror, you are beautiful. <laughs>